Hi, everyone, and very welcome to this session about NSO 6.0 for our developer days. My name is Nils Petter Tissell. I'm a product manager for NSO. So let's get started here and see what we have in NSO 6. And main thing I would like you to remember after this session, it's not the number six, it's rather the number nine, since we made some core updates and changes to NSO platform, increasing the throughput and performance of NSO application up to nine times. Okay, so let's just take a brief view of where NSO is today. NSO is a multi-vendor platform, We've always been there and we continue to invest in that area. Today, we support more than a thousand different types of devices. All our customers are using different vendors out there. And this is all based on our uh, NED framework and network equipment drivers. We do develop these in an agile manner. And just to give you a brief overview of how we work there is it's about 400 releases per month we do the releases on a weekly cadence so you can get new additions to your NEDs very quickly um, 250 customers around the globe using NSO top 10 service providers many of the major larger enterprises are using NSO as well we have a very active developer community about 6,000 unique visitors per month, more than 2,000 posts. And the posts are really about question and answers. So I really emphasize that. Go there, ask your questions, and interact with other NSO users because you have the NSO power users there as well as many of the Cisco employees will help out there as well. Also, very important to remember, Cisco is using our own products. So you're actually use, reusing NSO within different uh, Cisco products. More than 30 different Cisco products and offering are using NSO and Confity internally to actually manage device management and service orchestration. So NSO 6, major thing, all about performance boost. We actually been working on NSO 6 for approximately 18 months. And the reason we spend so long time regarding performance boost is we grow with our customer base. We have customers that have more than tens, more tens of thousands of devices, up to 100,000 devices. And with size comes complexity, but also requirement of increasing performance and throughput. The result is 6.0 that we now released. And for you as an NSO user or an application developer, just taking your application from your previous NSO installation to NSO 6 will probably render you a approximately uh, three times better performance or and throughput. We've tried that on our, our Cisco uh, applications as well as uh, some uh, customer applications as well. Very interesting results. And we will talk more about the details of that. You will learn that on, on our developer days. And, but we can be even better if you have an application that relies on uh, check syncs. The thing with the changes in the core is actually many of the operations can now be rerun in parallel. So check sync and actually dry runs are now run in parallel. So those kind of applications can reap the benefit up, up to nine times better uh, uh, throughput and performance. And during uh, our developer days, we'll actually have a few sessions how to actually optimize your application to be on the higher end of this scale for, for uh, your application. But how do we do this then? So NSO is a transactional engine. You have your transactions. We lock the database. And the good thing is you always know the state of your network. So the main analysis we've done then is how to minimize the amount of operation that we actually lock uh, in this state. This means that we've been able to use re, uh, move out quite a lot of different operations outside the lock. And we then trust in optimistic transaction in the sense that no conflicts will happen, even though that we do this. But for you as an NSO developer, this is totally transparent. So focus on your development as you do already today. 
uh, using NSO6, you will actually gain this performance out of the box. Okay, so let's move on. We actually have done a few other things on NSO6. Uh, talked about the NEDs. We have a catalog of 170 plus NEDs, um, and that is actually growing with one new, approximately the one new NED per month. And um, that is all good. The same experience. We can manage any kind of proprietary interface using CLI, REST, or whatever the uh, device might have. That being said, we have for long been promoting using standardized device management uh, technologies at NetConf Young. NSO is natively, I would say, NetConf Young enabled. We build everything uh, on top of Young, using Young. And we're very happy now when we see the market, we see more and more devices and network equipment using NetConf Young. And you actually can build then your own uh, NetConf Young NED using the, the NetConf Young NED builder in, in NSO. But we also see quite a lot of other momentum on the market using other protocols, still using Yang as a modeling language, but we see the, the appearance of RESTConf and GNMI on top of uh, NetConf as well. And it's, it's a very interesting movement. We see standardized device management interface. We do support all standards, uh, but we also, can, we also see that it comes with complexity. And the complexity is that how do the different implementations of, as an example, Young. Uh, there we see a lot of deviations from a standard when we do integration to the devices, but we also see complexities and tricky things in the protocol layer itself. So both in NetConf, RESTCON, GNMI layer. So in 6.0, we introduce a framework to take care about all these deviations and, and intricate details of uh, different standard implementations. But we also also make sure that you, when you integrate your device, actually know what kind of young models you need to use to actually get the right intent out of your service orchestration operations. So we actually then deliver a, a pre-built NED framework uh, for your young based device, regardless what kind of protocol, and you also get this full support from a Cisco organization to make this happen. Okay, moving on to the developer experience. So one of the main persona of the NSO users is of course the developer, and that's all what our developer days is about. And we got a lot of feedback about uh, NSO development, uh, works very well, you can get your tasks done, and it's all very fit. That being said, comes uh, with a lot of different technologies that you need to tie together. So in NSO 6, we've invested in the Microsoft Visual Code framework, and we are now releasing um, modules in, in that framework. We call it NSO Developer Studio. So in the integrated design environment from Microsoft Visual Code, you'll actually get NSO modules for Python editing, where you have the capabilities of getting snippets, and you actually we actually implemented a wizard as well. So you actually get a kickstart of your Python project. We are adding capabilities for our template authoring. So many customers have huge templates, and in our XML template editor, there is then template validations as well as variable scope highlighting in the sense of understanding of, of highlighting of in which scope uh, this uh, variable is, is, is valid. We have a young file editor and that comes with auto completion. You actually get help then to, to get access to the young capabilities of NSO as well as a young diagram renderer. I would say, it's, and this is all to, to help you when you're building your young models and get a better visibility of, of how it looks like. And then a runtime capability in our NSO Explorer, where you can actually inspect live NSO instances, but you can also trigger actions from your uh, application code. The experience of uh, the NSO Developer Studio is really integrated as any other modules in, in Visual Code, and you will get access to the module from the Visual Code Marketplace. Last major thing in 6.0 I would like to highlight is our NSO Insights Manager. 
It's a dashboard that actually shows what's going on inside NSO. It brings you various KPIs regarding number of transactions, how many operations is coming in from the northbound interfaces. This is actually a first implementation. We will continue to extend the number of KPIs you will see from a, a real-time uh, status. And all this data is, of course, also available in the CLI and, and the northbound APIs. So this is yet another building stone in our observability framework that we released actually in 5.8 timeframe. Uh, we continue to, to uh, expand in this for both your as a system administrator as well as a developer. So what, when you meet us, looking into the different sessions, a few things to, to remember, nine times performance boost, our advanced developer tools for visual code, we'll continue to invest in that, as well as our multi-vendor capability. So hopefully you enjoyed this, see you on dev days, and um, thank you for all for listening.